Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Ajalaya Mal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the solution and discussion on gate question paper in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 50 in the topic Fluid Dynamics Part 1. So, we will be taking few questions in the Fluid Dynamics and we will find the, uh, discuss the answers to the questions. The first question from 1994 question paper. Bernoulli's equation can be applied between any two points on the streamline for a rotational flow field. Uh, the statement is true or false? The statement is true. So, the Bernoulli's equation applicable for rotational flow field between the two points. The second question again from 1994 question paper. A venturi meter. In a venturi meter, the angle of divergent section is more than that of converging section. Whether this is true or false? So, the statement is false. The venture, in the venture meter, the angle of convergence section is about 15 degree to 20 degree, whereas the angle of divergence section is 5 to 5 degrees to 8 degree. So, the angle of divergence section is less than the angle of convergence section. So, the statement is false. Next question from 2000 question paper. Navier-Stokes equation represents the conservation of energy, mass, pressure, momentum. So, which is the correct option? The net to force on the fluid F equal to Fg plus Fp plus Fv plus Ft. So, F, Fg is the gravitational force, Fp is the pressure force, Fv is the viscous force, Ft is the turbulence force, force due to turbulence and this equation is known as Reynolds equation of motion which is useful in the analysis of turbulent flow. For laminar flow, the turbulent component Ft is 0. For laminar flow, the force due to turbulence is negligible, Ft equal to 0. Then F equal to Fg, uh, gravitational force are the body force, pressure force and the viscous force. So, this is equa this equation is known as Navier-Stokes equation which is useful in the analysis of viscous flow and this is also e e called as momentum equation. So, the conservation of momentum uh, is represented by the Navier-Stokes equation. The next question from 2016 question paper. A vertical cylindrical tank of 1 meter diameter is fitted with a water, is filled with water up to a height of 5 meter from its bottom. The top surface of the water is exposed to atmosphere. A hole of 5 millimeter square area forms at the bottom of the tank. Considering the coefficient of discharge of the hole to be unity and the acceleration due to gravity to be 10 meter by second square, the rate of leakage of water in LPM, liters per minute, through the hole from the tank to the atmosphere under a given condition is 3 LPM, 3 liters per minute. The amount of water leaking through a hole at the bottom of the tank is 3 liters per minute. So, we will see how in the next slide. The head of water H equal to 5 meter, area of the hole A equal to 5 millimeter square, so which is 5 into 10 power minus 6 meter square, acceleration due to gravity G equal to 10 meter per second square. So, the velocity of the water through the hole V equal to square root of 2 G H 2 into 10 into 5 which is 10 meters per second and the discharge Q equal to A into V area into velocity 5 into 10 power minus 6 into 10 equal to 5 into 10 power minus 5 meter cube per second which is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 2 liters per second. So, because 1 liter equal to 10 power minus 3 meter cube so which is 0 0.05 LPS. So, 0 0.05 into 60 equal to 3 LPM liters per minute. So, this is the answer to the question. The next question from 2019 question paper. A two-dimensional incompressible frictionless flow field is given by u vector equal to x into i vector minus y into j vector. If rho is the density of the fluid, the expression for pressure gradient vector at any point in the flow field is given as. We have four options here. So, the correct answer is minus rho into x i vector plus y j vector is the correct answer. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, given velocity vector u equal to x into i vector plus y j vector. So, the velocity component u equal to x and v equal to minus y. The Navier-Stokes equation for incompressible, incompressible frictionless fluid flow. Rho into dv vector by dt equal to minus del into p vector plus rho g, rho g vector. If there is no body force in the x and y direction, then rho into dv vector by dt equal to minus del p vector. 
So the del p vector equal to minus rho into u dou u by dou x plus v dou u by dou y into i plus u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y into j. So substituting del del p equal to minus rho into x u equal to x and dou u by dou x equal to 1. So x into 1 minus y minus y into because v equal to minus y dou u by dou y equal to 0 into i vector plus plus u equal to x dou v by dou x equal to 0 minus y v equal to minus y into dou v by dou y equal to minus 1. So into j vector. So del p equal to minus rho into x into i vector plus y into j vector is the answer. The next question from the 1987 question paper, a mercury manometer is attached to a section of pipe shown in the figure. Mercury level are indicated when there is there is no water flowing through the pipeline. When water starts flowing in the, through the pipe continuously at a constant rate in the direction of RO, the level of mercury at B is dash. So this is the pipeline of varying cross section. This is the arrangement of manometer. A, B, there are two limbs. The mercury level is, is equal now. There is no water flow. When the water is flowing in this direction as per the from the right side to left side, what will be the level of mercury in the section B, uh, limb B? That is the question. Now at section B, the area is less. So here the area is less. Velocity will be high and the pressure will be low. So level level will rise at B and decreases at A. So here pressure is less. So the level will, so here the pressure is high. So here the level will decrease and here the level will increase. So the, the level at B will increase. Level at B will the level at B will be increased. That is the answer to the question. Next question from 1988 question paper. Water flows through a pipeline of diameter 0 0.3 meter. What would be the velocity V for the condition shown in the figure below? So, this is the condition here. So, diameter of the pipe equal to 0.3 meter. Water is flowing here and the head difference is 0 0.3 meter. The specific gravity of the fluid in the manometer is 0 0.8. So, Cv is the coefficient of velocity which is 1, Hm is the head of manometric fluid, Sm is the specific gravity of the manometric fluid, Sf is the specific gravity of the flowing fluid. So, the velocity V equal to Cv into square root of 2gh, Cv into square root of 2gHm into n minus Sm by Sf. So, Sm is the specific gravity of the manometric fluid, Sf is the specific gravity of the flowing fluid. So, substituting V equal to 1 into square root of 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.3 into 1 minus 0 0.8 divided by 1 equal to 1.085 meters per second. So, the velocity of the water, so in the velocity of the water equal to 1.085 meters per second. The next question, from 1990 question paper, a jet of water issue from a nozzle with a velocity of 20 meters per second and it impinges normally on a flat plate moving away from it at 10 meters per second. The cross sectional area of the jet is equal to 0 0.1 meter square and the density of the water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. The force developed on the plate is, so we have a arrangement here. This is the jet of water impinges on the plate which is moving with the 10 meters per second. The velocity of the jet is equal to 20 meters per second. What is the force imparted on the plate? So the force developed by the jet on the plate is equal to F equal to rho A into Vj minus U whole square. So rho density is 1000. Area is 0 0.01 in 20 minus 10 whole square equal to 1000 Newton. So, the answer is option A, 1000 Newton. The force developed on the plate is 1000 Newton. The next question from 1993 question paper. A fan in the duct shown below sucks the air from the ambient and they expel it as a jet at 1 meters per second to the ambient. Determine the gauge pressure at the point marked point mark A. Take the density of the air equal to 1 kilogram per meter cube. So, this is the duct. We have a fan here. So, the atmospheric air is drawn inside by the fan and it is it is pushed outside by with a velocity 1 meters per second. So, this is the point A. What is the pr pressure at the point A is the question. So, apply the Bernoulli's equation between point A and the outlet. So, point A where the height, the, it is horizontal pipeline, the datum Z A equal to Z. So, in the Bernoulli's equation, P A by rho G plus V A square by 2 G plus Z A equal to P by rho G plus V square by 2 G plus Z. So, Z A equal to Z that you can delete. So, P A is the unknown, P A divided by 
rho density of air equal to 1 into 9.81 plus 0 because velocity at the out velocity at this point a equal to 0 equal to p by rho g pressure here is 0 so at the outlet it is atmospheric condition so pressure here is 0 plus 1 square velocity here is 1 meters per second 1 square divided by 2 into 9.81 so solving this equation we will get pressure p a equal to 1 into 1 square divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 pascal. So, the pressure at the point A equal to 0 0.5 pascal. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering. Uh, you may find the book Fluid Mechanics and Machinery. You can refer to the book for theoretical part of fluid dynamics and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for a better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, through my mail ID or contact number. We will meet again in another video lecture uh, in the solution for the fluid dynamics questions from the gate examination. Until then, bye.